So, chapter three of how we learn is called Breaking Good Habits. And people who, uh, you know, when we tell students, here are some great ways to learn, great study habits, we often tell people, you need to find an environment which is consistent, which is clean and orderly, which is quiet, so that you can study. And actually, as it turns out, those good habits we need to break. So instead of a blank environment, we need to mix it up and put ourselves in an environment where there is activity going on. In fact, we learn more in an environment which is visually stimulating than in an environment which uh, is more blank. And we also uh, learn more in an environment where there is music and sound going on than in an environment that is silent. And part of this seems to be because we are able to use our environment, the information in our environment, to anchor some sort of semantic information. So no one really knows exactly why changing rooms or changing your environment or changing your visual clues or your auditory clues actually improves, um, improves retention of information, but it does. So it's really important that we alter the routine in order to learn information best. That's basically the gist of chapter three. Mix it up.